I used to cook turkey, I now cook goose because I find the flavour much better. I mean, for me, that has become Christmas. Roast Christmas goose. As to how long to cook a goose, I'm afraid I use a thermometer these days. I just don't bother with timing. It's too complicated. That, about five quid, just get one. It's as simple as that. So I trussed the goose. I put it on a wire rack because I want the fat and juices to fall down below it and just put it in a moderate oven. You want to allow about 35 minutes to the kilo for roast goose, so this will take about two hours and 20 minutes. So now I'm going to do my gravy stock. As well as the giblets from the goose, I'm also going to use some bacon for extra flavour. Stir that around. And now I'm going to colour the bacon and then colour up the giblets and some of the trimmings from the goose. So first of all, I've got the gizzards from the, the goose, which are wonderful flavour. And then the neck, put that into the pan to colour up, just the wing tips, and then finally the heart. And then just brown all that around. Now I've also picked off quite a lot of fat. I'm not going to put that in my, in my stock, but don't throw that away. If you just render it down with a little bit of water, just cook very, very gently, if you get all the fat out of it, it makes a fantastic goose fat for making your roast potatoes. To wash my hands. So that's very nice and brown now. And now a couple of bay leaves, fresh bay leaves. I always prefer them to dry. Then some onion, some celery and some carrot. Give those a bit of a fry as well to get some colour in them. There we go. This is going to make a, a very nice stock, which will have quite a nice dark colour, but the main part of the gravy is going to be made from the juices that have fallen down into the pan from roasting the goose. You'll see, it'll be lovely. Now we're going to add some water. There we go. Just leave that come to the boil and then put it on a, for a gentle simmer for at least an hour. And now for my stuffing. Now I'm not going to make this in the conventional way and stuff it into the, into the cavity of the bird. I'm just going to make it in a dish and bake it in the oven. It's actually what I call crisp stuffing, or some people just call it crisp. To make the stuffing, first of all, some olive oil in the pan, and then finely chopped onions, soften in the olive oil. So that's softened quite nicely. I don't need the heat anymore because the rest is just a mixing job. First of all, some fresh breadcrumbs, the herbs, so in that goes, like that. And now I am going to put a little bit of egg in there. There we go. And now some lemon zest. I don't want it too lemony. And now I'm just going to season it. That's ready to go into the oven. So just get my gratin dish and add my crisp stuffing. So I'm just going to put that in the bottom oven now. So there's my roasted goose. Doesn't it look lovely? Isn't that just the best? And I use a thermometer to get the temperature and just see what the juices look like. They come out clear, you know it's cooked. Just put that to one side and keep it warm because I'm now going to make my, my gravy. So for the gravy, I've poured most of the fat off. I've just left a tiny little bit of fat in there just to assist the thickening in my gravy. And now I'm just going to stir a little bit of flour in here. Then I can add my giblet stock and carry on deglazing the pan. So there's my gravy be done. Now all I've got to do is pour it off into my sauce boat. It's a bit more than we need, but people always want extra gravy, so definitely don't reduce it anymore. It's a lovely flavour. So there we have it. We've got a roast giblet gravy, I've got apple sauce, I've got my crisp stuffing, my sage and onion stuffing, and I've got my roast goose.